Okay guys, a little update on the Panigale. Um, this is the uh, the engine in its various shades of aluminium and titanium gold. And uh, down there, just under the clutch cover, where it's stamped Ducati, you see the little indentation. That's the oil inspection window that shows the oil level. Um, you'll get one of these on most motorbikes. Um, some use a dipstick still, but very few. Uh, the vast majority use an oil level window for quick, easy checking. Uh, this came with a, a decal. Now, I've been um, replicating the oil level window with paint. But I thought I would give the decal a try and see how convincing it looked. And frankly, it was rubbish. I fitted it, I, I set it with Microsol, checked it once it had dried the following day and it just looked rubbish. So um, I scraped that off and I'm doing it the good old fashioned way with paint. So it's got the silver to show the backing plate. It needs a few dots of black to show the gaps in there that allow the oil through. And then um, replicate the oil using a mix. Typically I use a mix of yellow and orange Tamiar clear paints to replicate the oil level. So, uh, and the engine itself still needs an oil wash to, um, to highlight the detail a little bit. Now the next thing I'm going to show you on the subject of clear paint, uh, this is something I'm incredibly pleased with. Anybody that knows motorbikes knows that uh, the front suspension is typically a sliding tube. You have a, cr a hard chromed stanchion, which is uh, not as shiny as cosmetic chrome, but quite shiny. And then you have uh, the fork tube itself, which can be various colours, either from bare aluminium, polished aluminium, uh, painted aluminium, or on some bikes it can be black or what have you. What you find on most modern sports bikes is the stanchions have a coating which gives them a sort of anodized gold look um, and this is something that uh, that the Panigale has on the upside down forks um, as well as a more as a bolder gold color on the actual fork tube now I needed to replicate this what I normally do with the, with my fork um, stanchions is I paint them with Alclad um, chrome and then, if necessary, dull them down a little bit with a bit of um, acrylic clear. Uh, but I needed to replicate this sort of gold colour for the of this anodized hard anodized coating on the on the sliders. So what we've got here is whoop, and grab that while I focus the camera. And hopefully you can see that it's a, it's a little hard to see, but hopefully you can see. That rather than just straight chrome, we've got a, a slightly, slight sort of hint of gold look, um, and the fork tube and um, and the lower section where the caliper and the wheel mounts to, as you can see, are not yet painted. But um, the light's not the best, but hopefully you can actually see that. That's a little better there. So yeah, I'm inc I'm incredibly pleased with this now. I could have used sort of alclad gold, but to be honest, it would have been too shiny, and I don't have any anyway. It's not something I would use a lot, so I'm not going to spend um, on a bottle of it because alclad's not cheap. So what I did instead is I used alclad chrome and then dusted Tamiar clear yellow over the top, building it up gradually until I got the effect that I was looking for. So essentially, I just wanted to say I'm really, really pleased with that, and then. On the subject of chrome shiny bits and what have you, you can see here uh, we've got the rear light there which has been done in Alclad chrome. We've got the, um, the exhaust system here which is done in Alclad stainless steel. These are realistic metal finish paints. Um, they're much easier to use than you'd imagine. Um, have a look at my Alclad videos, and certainly if you've uh, if you've thought about it, give them a try because they do they are really surprisingly easy to work with. Um, we've got the front indicators there in Alclad Chrome. We've got the fork tubes there. You can you can kind of see the difference actually. If I hold that to there, get that to focus. There we go. Now you can see that's the chrome, and then that's with the dusting of Tamiya yellow over the top. So, yep, that works. I'm pleased with that. Um, and the stainless steel on the front and rear portions of the exhaust 
silencers and this central piece is going to be aluminium and then we've got the headlight here which again is Alclad Chrome um, which with a little buffing it gets very reflective. It's the nearest thing to kit chrome or real chrome that you will get out of a painting. So that's where we're at at the moment. The chrome bits have been done. Uh, the bodywork has also, um, I'm losing the light a little bit here so I'm hoping this is going to show up, but the bodywork has, um, come on focus for me, Come on, play nice now. There we go. The bodywork has been clear coated, decaled and clear coated over the top of the decals, as you can see there. And actually, if I bring this out and, and get it to the window, it should show a lot better. There we go. So you can see we've got a nice, nice shiny finish. Um, this is just uh, Home Roll Gloss Clear uh, enamel paint over the decal so you apply the decals allow it to dry um, thoroughly using setting solution if need be allow it to dry thoroughly and then uh, clear coat over the top and you get this lovely gloss finish so very pleased with that um, and that's uh, a big chunk of the kit which is very close to being ready to start assembly of some components. So that's where we are at the moment. Um, there'll be another update soon and hopefully in the next update there should be a little bit of progress with the assembly. So thanks for bearing with me so far. Keep an eye out for the next update. And if you're enjoying this, check out my other videos and please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you.